I actually I'm still kind of shocked that we're here and seeing the guys is amazing. It kind of you know life's a bit hectic at times now, so I don't think I'd really considered how much this would mean me, to me today, being back here 20 years later, seeing it in front, and the fact that all these people are here to see it again, it really means a lot. Just, it was actually, it was my, my teacher, Mr Harkins. Um, well, I saw My Name Is Joe, which the guys had done the year previous, and you not know, blew my mind, because I never I never knew people who spoke like me could be on a big screen. Um, so it just changed my idea of what cinema could be, and then just by chance they were having open auditions at, at my school the following year, and it was my teacher just said, look, we're... They're talking about this kid they're looking for, and he says, I think it's you. I mean, looking back, it probably means a, a wee gobshite um, who had far too much to say for himself. But, yeah, I mean, Mr Harkins, there's a lot of these sliding door moments. If he didn't say it, Pam the researcher, then the guy. So, again, I just, I was right place, right time. <laughs> I wouldn't be an actor in all these shows if I didn't get that first edition with them, that's for sure. I'm, I would never have took it. Something I was always interested in, films and, and acting, but I never took it seriously as a career. So the fact that it's actually here and I'm, I'm doing all these things, it's, yeah, it's amazing and I'll be forever grateful to them. Oh, the last time I actually saw it, you're going over 15 years ago. I don't, I don't like watching myself back. I can watch it once and also... Probably my voice of the time will, 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 is like a ch I have fingers in a chalkboard to me. Um, yeah, it's just it's because I think as well. I mean, the reason I think it was so good is because it was so raw. But when I look it back, I can see how raw I am. And you go, why are you doing that? So it's kind of catch twenty two. Like the fact I didn't know what I was doing made it so good. But now looking back, I'll be going. I wish I never done that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm extremely proud of it. Twenty years on. <laughs> What's it like? You birth back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a year. Yeah. Well, I've done mine. I've done yeah, mine. It's a, yeah, well, it's an absolute privilege to, to see Martin again and all the gang. We were we had such a rich seam of talent, and uh, where did that twenty years go to? It's just uh, it's just it's all gone in a flash, really. I mean, it's it's funny how a film has a, a life of its own, and I never take it for granted. It's just kind of quite remarkable. I was recently in Edinburgh, talking to some young people down in the north of Edinburgh who were born after the film and they started talking and uh, they were up to mischief, let's say, they were stealing motorbikes and all this and, and I always tell people the truth what I'm doing, I said I was digging around and asking questions. They said, well, what have you done? I said, well, we mentioned Street 16 and one of the young lads went through every single name of the character, including the baby called Callum. I couldn't remember the names. And he just says, this is my favourite film. He says, I've seen that about 15 times. He goes, that's my life out there. You know, I was with the wonderful Paul Brannigan who was in the Angel Share, another film we did, and we were showing the film in Pullment. And there was a young guy there who just turned up and we were chatting away to him, and I heard him have been called Pinball, who is the name of the character in this film. And I goes, oh, that's a coincidence. He says, no, you not realise? He says, the people in here with red hair are often called Pinball after the film in Sweet 16. So it's kind of remarkable how it's, it just finds its way, and it must tap into something. You know, so um, you never take it for granted, and it's a, it's a bit of a gift. And so to see all these people here today, to see them all doing so well, there's Anne-Marie, Anne -Marie, who's an actress. She's now writing and directing. Um, see Martin absolutely flying. Um, you know, it's, it's an absolute treat to see talent like that, you know, just uh, fulfil itself, really.